HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services, joined by Jan Zivert after a defeat at Newcastle this afternoon. Jan, we, we started the game pretty positively. Obviously, like in any game, the red card is a, a big moment today, isn't it? It was definitely a big moment because I think we started the game quite well. We were in the game, we um, brought them back and we found solutions for chances, but um, the, the red card definitely changed the game. You've just told our broadcast colleagues you've not seen the red card yet, but mm -hmm. uh, like since you've been here you've never made excuses about anything. I imagine it's the same today. And I will continue with this. Uh, I don't find excuses. The thing is, um, we are working just together for four weeks. We never had the situation and um, we're not in the progress that we had the situation like having a red card. So the players tried everything to solve it. Um, at the end, uh, with one man less, it's hard to defend. It gets particularly tough. We obviously saw the first half out. Newcastle did have a few chances. Then to concede barely a minute into the second half, it's very, very difficult from there, right, isn't it? I think I said it once before, the the team did not win since November. Mm. So, which is hard for them when you go out and directly get the hit. And uh, yeah, we have to. Co we, the thing is that we have to continue and working on the things which brought us in this situation. Mm. As head coach, when it's a difficult situation, do you learn things about your team? Because it's, it's a difficult watch for you, I imagine, you know, the second half in particular. But are you learning things from how they react to difficult situations? I'm learning and the players are also learning. Mm -hmm. And this is on the dressing room right now because everyone is disappointed. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we started, as I said, very well. But um, the thing is that some situations in the game, since I'm here, changed the situations mm -hmm. for us. And uh, we have to work on and continue on the things which we really try to, to show our fans and yeah, we still we still stay positive mm. although my face doesn't show it because I'm disappointed but uh, we go on. Equally you made three changes to the team today I think Lauren de Poitra had the first start you're still learning about the individual players as well aren't you so I suppose every game between now and the end of the season as we fight for Premier League survival is going to be beneficial to you whatever happens. As I said in the pre-match press conference, um, the substitutions or the changes which I do um, had something to do with illness or injuries. Mm. So unfortunately, also an important player for us was missing today, yeah. and we had to change. And uh, yeah, this doesn't make it easy. This doesn't make it easy for me. No. A word on our supporters: we had over 2,000 here, right up in the sky, up at the top of the tier. I saw you made a point of going over and, and clapping them at the end of the game, as many of the players did. It's the least they deserve, isn't it? They stuck with you right till the end. Yeah, I want to share the disappointment with with them, and uh, uh, it's hard, it's hard for me that because you know since many years I, I haven't lost four games in a row, and uh, for me it's also hard, and I can imagine how hard it is for them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and thanks very much for joining us.